Alright guys, so this is this uh, how many people have done the Doris before? Okay, so this is set up for the Doris. There's a million setups for it. He turns, I lock, I grab hold of my bicep, nice and tight, lean, finish. That's the normal Doris. But how do you get a good guy to do all that? It's really tough, right? He's not just gonna do that for you. So what I've been doing lately and what I really like, learned this about a year and a half ago from I learned it actually from Josh Hayden <laughs> a year and a half ago, and I never really got it until like the last month. Now I'm just, sometimes moves just click. All right, now this one's clear. Turn your legs. So we're here, all right? Maybe he has an underhook, maybe he doesn't. It doesn't really matter at this point. I want to get underneath this arm. Usually the darts here would be, he'd get the underhook, he'd bump onto his side, I'd shoot my arm in, and really only guys with long arms can, can do this most times, unless we get rid of it. And now it's over. It's pretty much over here. If I can hook a leg here or here, I know I have it. It's done. But again, long arm guys, we can do that stuff. People with medium or if they're going against a bigger guy, it's going to be tough to get. So what I'm going to do is work off of this arm down here. So what I like to do is go into control one, okay? And I like to do this from going for the north-south. A lot of people like to go for it. Their head almost always pops up. Boom. I start turning my rib into his neck. Now, if I can get this, it's over, right? He can't turn his head back and come back. And squeeze, that pressure, get the tap. But a lot of times he's gonna use this elbow, turn 180. He's gonna use this elbow to stop me from getting that. Ready to see it? He's gonna block me from coming around to myself. All right, so I say, okay. I get rid of it, okay? I even take my hand out of the myself position and it's doing like a reverse control three, like I'm gonna mount. Probably thinks I'm gonna mount. Legs are gonna come up. But really, what I'm doing is trying to get my body underneath that elbow. And if he's giving me trouble, if he's making it really tight, I'll actually take his legs and I'll move them over here. When I do that, his elbow slightly comes off the ground, and I'll start moving it up, walking it up, walking it up. Now he knows this is bad for him. You never should have your inside arm up like this. And he knows it, but it's kind of too late at this point because I'm hugging my hip into his armpit. And I'm hugging my elbow into his head, kind of making a sandwich. So now that he knows it's up, he wants to get it back, but it's going to be really tough. So now I just take my time and I do not rush this at all. If his elbow gets out, the move's gone. This okay? Doesn't matter how you do that. I can literally go into control three. You can be here. This is fine. A lot of people like to do that. However, you like to get this up and get your hips under it, it's going to work. The key is once you get under the elbow, do this. Get both arms over. Hug them tight. Get your uh, right elbow up. You guys see why you can't? Okay. Now that I have this, this hand's gonna shoot in like a north-south. Even if his head's down, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it in that little crease right here. It's always a little arch on his neck. I'll put my knee right to his head so he can't move his head to get out of this. Dig it in. Can't stop it. Okay, so now, it's just a matter of I want to get him to turn that way. Okay, so now my hand goes to control one. I stay nice and low. Get your right arm out. There's no way he gets it out unless I get sloppy and, and I try to do this fast. I'll walk to north-south. Walk to north-south. Okay. There's going to be one moment where I can miss it or get it. And it's happening very soon. As my head comes to this side, I'm still look like I'm turning my hip. Get your arm out. Every point in time, there should be no time where he gets his arm free because of the pressure I'm putting here on his neck into my belly. Okay, let's turn 180. Let's do the finish now. Here's the finish. And this is why it's so tight. Because the second I roll, so look, I'm going to roll my hips now. It's, it's already locked in tight. He's about to tap in like two seconds. That's how tight it is right now. So I'm basically doing the darts on this side, but I set it up from this side. Here. It's the tightest one there is. It's the tightest one I've ever felt. The tightest one that's ever been on me. The tightest ones I've ever got on people. They tap like usually two seconds later, right here. You don't even have to hook a leg, you just squeeze and you're already ready to go. Okay, and look, look how deep this is. That's the reason how deep this is. If I had five inch shorter arms, it would still be enough to get the tap. Okay, and that's why this works worth throwing out. That's why I thought to be proud of you. Over here. I'm 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 here.
start getting under his elbow. Maybe he's not giving me that. He's pinning it tight. Whenever I do that, it's hard for them to stop me from doing this now. Can you see that? Because he's turned. Then he goes back. Come up, hug him. It's fine. Hug him. It's fine. Get that arm free. Now I take my top. My hand shoots in as deep as humanly possible. I like to get it right to the elbow pit. This time you gotta go even deeper. Hand goes in control one. Now look, low hips. I want to basically just get low, turn, turn, back up to the head. Sometimes you can squeeze here and get it down. But you wouldn't do that. You'd literally just bring your bicep to your hand, watch. How do you know when to make that adjustment? Don't do it when his arm is here against his ear. It'll never work. I tried it. I squeezed for like 40 seconds and I thought I could get it. It's not going to work here. It has to be. Just use your hip to bring it up on top. Once it's up on top, that's your cue. Just go. It's a lock, and then it's a rock towards the head. Like I lean towards his back. I'm not even squeezing, I'm just leaning. And when I lean, my shoulder weight drops on his bicep, uh, his shoulder, and we squeeze. Even if he decides he can roll up to the top. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. You just keep walking. So like 75 brain cells on Hindu's neck. So it's got like six. It's <laughs> so it's like <laughs> negative 75. <laughs> he's got six left. After this one, he's dead. All right, so we're here. Oh, I can come under. I can go to control three. Maybe I'm here, right? I lift his elbow, go to control three. And then I bring myself under. Hug him in. He's done. I'm getting this. I don't care if it takes the rest of the round. I shoot it deep. Boom. Hand goes to the hip. Now, and this is this, don't rush this part. He's gonna be fighting. Ready, Lugo? He's gonna be fighting. Slow, walk the north south. Slow, keep that hip low. If the hip comes up, it's over. Now maybe I'll drop to this and try to finish this. I don't want that, I want this one. Walk, right now I feel like I can make the transition. Why? Freeze, don't move when I come up. Because his arm's over his face, chin area. Don't do it if it's here. Watch, watch the bicep. Don't do it if it's here. It's not gonna work, you're just gonna be squishing him. And then he'll do like a, a wuss tap, because like, he doesn't feel good. It's not a choke though. <laughs> right here, that's where we want it, because now his shoulder's lined up with his neck. My other arm's breaking that side, that's, that's done, it's cut off. It has to be here. So make your hip, move this if it's here, come under, roll it, roll it, take your time, boom, now it's time. And that's there, and that's there. Walk the north south, lock it, lean, squeeze. Let's do it, one, two, three.